Stop re face centered. Speech off. Hi guys, happy Friday. I've been on a roll. I think I posted every day this week. Trying to bounce back, get back into vlogging. This is a get ready for bed with me. I'm gonna answer some quick questions. This is all my hair for you newcomers. Um, I've, I'm getting questions about my lip products. So I have lip products um, for the gym. Like depending on what I'm doing is going to de is going to determine what I'm going to wear. Right now I've been super loving the Tree Hut Sugar Lips Watermelon Lip Butter. That's what it's called. It's on Target. Um, the app for target.com or go in the store right now they're having like buy three get one free on a lot of different items um, and that's one of them it smells good it feels super good on the lips and um, this is what I wear around the house this is what I wear when I know I'm going to the gym um, it's super hot out here and this is what I would wear if I know I'm about to eat soon like let's say I'm on my way somewhere and I know I'm about to eat within an hour, I will put this on um, and I like it. If you guys want me to do a video going over all my current lip products, my favorites, and um, what's on my wish list or I'm going to, or my list to pick up next time I go in Sephora or what have you, I will. Um, but pretty much you have me sold with anything like mango, anything tropical that says super hydrating, says something like lip butter, is and it's less than $6, it, I'm, and it's by Tree Hut. That's the people that make the body scrubs that I use. Um, it, I use Tree Hut and, and I use Dr. Teal's. So yeah, so these are my earrings they're by coach they're huge and they're super lightweight i love these earrings are fun i feel like when i wear my hair down they just look good um and you know they just pop out give me a little funness so that's what i have on i still have i'm rocking these um jessica simpson shades they're like a light brown tint comment down below Tell me what color you see. As far as I understand, it's like light brown with a gold frame. So, super love. Yep, that's what happened today, guys. Today was definitely a gym day as far as Thursday. Let me put it like that. Um, I did like three hours. And that's a typical... Two hours is a, is a typical day for me. Um... Sometimes, depending on if there's new instructors, I will um, observe their class and even take their class. If you're a new instructor, nine times out of ten, I'm going to stay and take your class and see what your technique is. I do have several trainers across, um, you know, the board, coast to coast and location for location that I have that are my favorite. Um, maybe I'll do a top five and a top ten list for you all for different reasons. Um, I have several favorites in Georgia. I have several favorites here in South Florida. Um, I have one particular favorite. I think her name is Tanya in Newport Beach. Her class is all of this is so dope. And she's on the beach um, in Club Pilates. Um, so, and I, and I definitely posted, I took her class last year, like 2023. Um, I know I have a shorts video and I might have a vlog. Um, but for sure, she's worth a spin, spin the block. Um, yeah guys, but definitely, i um, loving my training and I'm really taking full advantage of everything um, that they offer I'm still on my 30 day challenge right now guys I mean not 30 day 30 class challenge so basically you get um, you do 30 classes within 90 days and you get 
enter to win a one year membership with Club Pilates. So I think that is phenomenal. For me, my membership is paid through February of next year. So the year for me would start and end in 2026, which would be young. I wonder if they'll match the membership you have though, or if you have to get what they choose. I pray that they get they match what you have um and i'm thinking because you have to do it all 30 classes at one gym not even if within the franchise it has to be at one gym you have to keep coming and do 30 classes so right now i'm at 12. so i do 18 more classes and it started in july or was it June? I think it started in June, guys. Yeah, it started in June. So it's ending this month, actually. June, July, August. Yeah, it's ending this month. So that means that I have to do um, a minimum of five classes a week to complete my 18 classes this month. So it'll get done it, I do that in like two days anyway I do two to three classes when I go so I'm definitely gonna have that done so yeah guys so doing a little chit chat with you guys while I get my hair together I'm basically going to be hydrating um, next week I'll be trying some new products you guys asked me a question about my watermelon, wild watermelon um, hand sanitizer and my apple hand, hand sanitizer. It is by Touchland. Touchland. And um, I happen to see it on Target.com as well. It is a part of the sale. So get your hands on it. It's the same price too. Sephora has it for $10. Target has it for $10. I will tell you all I'm partial to purchasing things at Sephora um, if both stores have it because I get the points especially if it's the same price and then I do like Ulta and you can put your Ulta information in the Target app so you get you know Target rewards and Target I mean an Ulta points so use and take advantage of all of that on the ship app you can't do all the things you can do on the target app but you can um when you use the ship app for sephora you can add your sephora account it just picks and chooses what stores is willing to do what just like on the target store in the ship app everything's not available like it is in target app let me tell y'all something so how about Hold on, let me find my little comb first. How about, um, I completed a bonus offer. Hold on, let me find my little comb. Oh, here it is. Yay! So, I spend time on the Target app, like, every day. And, um, I put in an order for, like, my frozen fruit, my frozen vegetables. We have this heat advisory going on, so it's so hot um, that I was like, oh my God, I need to get me some, uh, I got me, I ordered me a new comb. You guys know I broke my comb earlier this week. And um, so, I, so I was like, oh my God, I need to get me some frozen, some, um, what you call these things popsicles i was like oh let me get some fruit bars that's how hot it is you start thinking like i need some more i need more than ice cream i need some fruit bars so i went on the ship app boom Publix had their fruit bars on sale buy one get one or you could pick up one box of six for 2.99 they have the pineapple bars mango bars the um what else did they have? They have watermelon bars, strawberry bars. I'm super excited when this comes. So, basically, um, 
Okay, great. So, I ordered some popsicles. I'm on my Target app. I'm, com I'm always checking prices because sometimes Target will have their the same item for a whole dollar, two dollars cheaper, even three dollars cheaper than Publix. So, and their fruit is definitely, but I will tell you, hands down, Target's fruit and it's not you better tread lightly on the fresh fruit on the produce the avocados are always on point the avocados at target are always on point like just different things are good you can get good bell peppers onions you know salads a lot of stuff out of target is really good and like i said i shop out of there for a lot of things but when it comes to the strawberries the blackberries and the blueberries it gets scary i used to buy red grapes a lot and i used to buy um like the cut up watermelon or the whole pineapples the cut up pineapples it just depends but i'll buy the naked juices because they're two dollars cheaper than um Publix. so you just kind of got to pick and choose but anyway so while I'm on the app, it's like always prompting me and showing me all these coupons that I can add. And then whatever the bonus offers are, whatever the Target Circle deals are. So this week, they had a Target Circle deal because it was time for me to buy like bathroom tissue, paper towels, you know, Kleenex, stuff like that. So when I finished putting my stuff in there, it ended up giving me a $15 gift card. Cause they had a thing like if you spent fifty dollars on household items and it, it had like a cleaning item like it was a list of things then you got fifteen dollars i was like oh that's cool so when i went to place my next order for my frozen vegetables um then it took the fifteen dollars off plus all the coupons that i selected so in the meanwhile, after I completed that order, it told me I completed a Target Circle, this tar Target Circle deal. So now I got a $25 Target Circle reward. Now I have been wanting these Beckham Hotel Collection pillows that cost for a set of two queen size, they're um, $60. So I've been having them in my cart for like maybe a month. And they're the kind of pillows that are cooling. And you um, they're for your stomach, like if you're a side laying person or if you are a stomach laying person, like however you sleep. Now pay attention how I'm combing my hair out. I'm starting from the bottom and if i find a tangle i'm not just snatching it through anyway i'm taking my time and this is how you can retain length and um i just wanted y'all to make sure y'all notice that because it's so much easier to comb your hair out when you work from the bottom up so anyway i go to place so I want to go, so I've been having them in my cart for a while, the pillows. They're $60. They have never gone on sale yet, which $60 is a good deal. If you go to the furniture store and try to buy the same pillows, they charge like $140, $140. And sometimes that's each pillow, okay? Like the one I had for the longest was a lavender infused one. I love that pillow. It would, if I started having a migraine or feeling nauseous, I could lay on that pillow and it would stop. It was just everything. So, anyway, I went, I said, you know what? I'm gonna go in and get my pillows and use my $25 Target Circle Reward. It'll only be $35 plus tax, great. Guys, why did I go in there? Cause you have to do a minimum order of $35 to get free delivery. Why did I go in there and then it says, um, this cannot be added. The Target Circle reward cannot be added to this purchase. I want them to stop doing that. It's like, depending on what they title it, you have to go in the store to use it. 
And for me, that's not advantageous because I pay everywhere I go. So it's like if I spent $25 to go to the store, did I really get $25? Like I just spent $25, you know, round trip to go to the store. Or sometimes, you know, it might cost me 20 but it's just the point that, like, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm going to send them an email and ask them, can they please not um, distinguish between rewards and limit us to where we can't use it whenever however we want to use it because you know of, of that reason like if it's something that we've earned because we completed a program whatever you guys decided then let us use it however you know we want so to be continued that's my little rant i'm gonna leave that alone so next this is what i want to chat about guys because i get a lot of questions behind the scenes from people want to ask me how do i do this how do i do that how does this make me feel how does that make me feel according to living life with visual impairment do i go through this do i go through that right okay real quick again i forgot this is that same i had this on um, roll one like i've had it on for several get ready for me i got this from tj maxx and it came with a nighty like a little nightgown and it was like 11 dollars. so that's where i got it from and i think this is a small they come out with these double um sized robes and house you know like loungewear so I believe this is a small slash medium. So just want to tell y'all that because that's another question I get. Y'all are really cute. Like my subbies are so cute. You guys rather send me direct messages than to just comment down below. And I'm like, okay. It's always been that way too. Like always. I'll be like, no, just comment on the video. It's good because somebody else probably. But mm -mm, you all are who you are and we love you we're just gonna move it along move it along so my hair is still really well oiled um and so i'm not gonna put too much i am gonna put a little bit let me see what i'm about to put okay i'm still about to put some of this fantasia pm spray um but i will tell you that i my hair feels really soft and I honestly do not feel like I need to do too much. I'm going to put some blue magic around my edges here. And then I'm going to go on and braid my hair. Oh my gosh, guys. I got my rollers. I'm probably, I'm probably going to squeeze past y'all in a minute and show you the rollers that I got. Because I want to use one on the ends tonight. But yep, sure did. I got my rollers and the one that I had been trying out, um, I'm going to show y'all this thing. So I got this huge thing. Look at this. They call this a roller and I'm trying to figure this, I'm still trying to figure this thing out. Like, it came like this, like, folded up just like this. Look at this thing. I'm like, what is the goal here? Like, what are we really doing with this, guys? I don't know. I, I wrapped my braids around this part, and then I just kind of folded it, and then just put my bonnet on and went to sleep. And it wasn't giving. It didn't give me what I needed. It gave me frustration. That's what it gave. It gave me what is going on. Who created this? And I'm actually going to look it up on YouTube. Because I'm very sure somebody did a video. And figured it out. And did something cute with it. 
so that I can be set free from the mental torture. I will tell y'all this, like the stuff that I put on my hair in the nighttime, I do actually like mousse for like when you take these braids down and before you walk out the door, like put a little mousse in a little cream and you just kind of like, just run it through, just kind of run it through so you can just make it pop. I also feel like because it's so hot outside, you have to just run it through just to give, like, create that barrier. Comment down below if you tried the Olaplex online. I'm trying their heat. I think it's called Therma Silk or something. It's like, because I'm going to be washing my hair pretty soon. And I'm going to use my blow dryer brush. So I just want to um, use like a heat, a heat barrier, heat protectant. So, okay, that's that. Let me see. So let's get back to the topic. I always brush everything in my roots i've always done that all my life it just doesn't seem right until you brush in your roots it doesn't seem like you did it okay cool so you all so here's the topic first of all let me say this too <laughs> Let me say this too. Why did I mess around and miss sisters last on um, Wednesday night? And I even have a reminder and I fell asleep and blacked out because that's how hard we went. First of all, that's how hot it is. And that's how hard we went in the gym. All right, so, uh -oh. ooh, 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 okay, now. Guys, I want to talk about not touching persons with impairment, anybody, honestly, without asking them first, is it okay? And don't ask while you're touching or starting to touch. Like, determine what is help and what is not and i'm going to tell y'all something that might be shocking and you might not be surprised um but everybody wants to touch me in order to help they don't use their words and they don't practice personal space or um boundaries they just immediately go in for touching and they don't just touch a little bit i mean they touch my hair they touch my head all in the name of trying to help me all in the name of trying to make sure i don't hurt myself all in the name of you know accommodation I have gone into full-blown advocacy of myself now where I'm stopping everybody as soon as I even think you're about to try to reach for me I say hey I don't want to be touched I don't want to be touched um, and you guys the first thing my sensitivity my senses are so heightened and because I do not control who picks me up, like I'm getting driver services. So who knows who's picking me up, what condition their vehicle is in. A lot of people's cars down here smell like garlic um, or whatever food they just finished eating or delivering. You can tell when drivers are driving all night long, all day long. 
Um, some of them, their cars smell like breath, like your breath. Um, you can tell who bites their fingernails, who um, just has poor hygiene or not, um, whose car got flooded or rained in because you can smell mildew. I mean, like, the list goes on and on. And everywhere I go, walking into a store or not, you know, they want to touch the worst for me because if I'm coming out the gym, then I take my hair down. I try to. I, I really, I'm really working on not keeping my hair up in ponytails anymore because I'm not sure. I showed you guys in like a couple videos ago. I want to say it was like Wednesday night to get ready for bed with me. That I was concerned there might have been breakage at the front here. And, and because the hair was like, and it was like a large amount of hair that was only probably three, four inches. And I'm like, I think because I've been kept my hair in a high ponytail for so long, I think that it just went on and broke off. And the thing about me and my ponytail that's so dangerous too. See, look at this and earrings because a strand of hair got stuck in that earring. Um, is that you don't moisturize your hair like. I'll use those pointer bottles of oil, but that's not good enough because you're not combing in there, you're not brushing in there, you're not hydrating that scalp, you're not increasing, you know, keeping that circulation good. Like you're not doing so many things. So no more ponytails anymore for me. Um, I will be continually. And after this week, I'm not doing two braids down the sides because I want the middle of my head, um, I want the middle of my head, I don't want to end up having a wide, have you ever seen a person that has a part in their part is like getting wider and wider because they're always pulling their hair in, what, in that direction? Like, so I don't want that issue either. So I'll be, the next time you guys see me doing a get ready with me, I will be putting my hair in like um i think four braids yeah so i'm gonna go on and do like one two yeah i'm gonna do four braids so that i can cover the middle and then i'm just gonna keep switching it up depending on what style i'm going for but anyhow back to the topic so i personally don't want to be touched and I'm speaking for all of us. We have OCD. Um, whether we want to talk about it or not, um, you know, the pandemic's not over with. People are still contracting viruses. And the fastest way to get it is being touched. That's why I keep all these sanitizers and um, alcohol pads and everything that I showed you in my what's in my bag. I don't play about that. When I come home, I spray myself down. I wipe myself down. I have alcohol wipe cloths. Okay? I will wipe my whole bag, my phones. I spray my phones throughout the day with sanitizer. I, I don't play about my life, my health, and I'm not going to take a chance. And even when I'm at the gym, People would grab my hand, my arms, my wrist. Okay, so back to that point. When I go to the gym, I put my hair in a ponytail. I usually have one of these scrunchies, right? Which I have to also sanitize my scrunchie. And I wear a bonnet in class because we literally go from one end of the reformer to the neck. So our feet can be on our headrest and then we only wear grip socks. So then literally, you know, you went from the floor to the foot bar to the headrest. So I'm not putting my head on the floor. But lots of times when we get on the mat, you know, our head is getting on the floor, our hair and all that. It's just gross. But I mean, you getting in, you getting it in. You're doing your thing. You're getting your workout. So I have my gear. So... Every time, it's like a fiasco every time, guys. Hold on. So, I'm looking for me.
me by the way i'm looking for me like a little stand to put in here where i can put move some of these products over to the stand that's gonna be good for me so So what people will do, I'll have my scrunchie on my arm and sometimes, you know, whatever happens, it might scoop down to my wrist and then somebody will grab my, I mean, I hate it. And I'm like, dang, now you don't touch my scrunchie that I'm putting in my hair on top of touching my hand or wrist. So then I have to find time to squeeze in if I can to spray sanitizer and wipe everything off real quick and so nine times out of ten out of genders the women have had the nastiest hands and as far as the and clammy i mean it the hands overall women we need to spend more time moisturizing and hydrating our skin the majority of the women's hands are dirty i mean i could just run out of town screaming kicking and screaming how dirty and clammy and cold and i'm like wow and then the hands are like hard some of these women's hands are hard, crusty. I'm like, wow, don't touch me at all. It's, it's insane, it's, it's insane. And then for the guys, you know, my first thought is, don't touch me. I don't know what you just got finished doing with your hands and y'all know what I mean. I, I don't want to be involved. I, it's like, don't get me wrong. It's not all. I'm just explaining to you the experience in general. But when I tell you how these guys will trying to grab my arm and all in my arm my hands and oh let me show you this and that and i'm like no don't show me anything it's like no don't touch me i don't have a clue of what you've been doing not sure and so guys i just really want to get it across that helping people is first establishing what is help for that person not what is help according to you and what is comfortable for you or how you think you should do it but what is comfortable for that person or you probably just don't need to help or just get somebody else. You, you, the first step is asking, hi, I'd like to help you on, what do you feel comfortable with? Or how can I help you? That's a great one right there. Then you could just say like, okay, well, um, move to the left or move to the right or go continue straight for five steps or the car door is open um, just keep coming. You just don't know how many times, even when I tell people, like, let me just, when I see they're struggling with vocabulary, I'll just go in and say, okay, let me take your elbow. No, don't, because they'll, even with me saying, let me take your elbow, we're like doing the windmill, because they're still trying to grab my arm and my hand and my wrist. And I'll be like, no, no, let me have your elbow. No, we're doing that circular. <laughs> We're out here in these streets doing a circular windmill because they want to still grab my hand and I don't want to be touched. I'm like, and that doesn't help me. By the way, newsflash, 
grabbing a visually impaired person by the hand and dragging them behind you or whatever, it doesn't help us and it hurts us. You don't know how much I get hurt and I'll be telling them like, hey, tell me when a step is coming and boom, I already bust my foot into the curb, into a ditch. And, and I'm like, hey, are you walking me through grass? I don't want to go through grass. They think I'm being prissy, but grass is not safe. If there's a lot of ditches and holes in grass and you'll mess around and fall in there and break your knee, um, bruise your shins, like and there's a lot of chiggers like all kind of in live activity going on in there so I, i'm just telling them like no i don't want to do that i kind of am tempted to do the two braids now because this braid is so thick it's not going to give me that body wave that i want for tomorrow so i'm going to go ahead on and do two cornrows with this one today um so it's like a lot of reasons why we're asking to be guided the way we need to be guided and when people are like oh just hold they want to hold me to hold them like we're going to prom and it's like well no because i need to gauge where i am and i need to have enough space to use my cane to protect myself so you know you won't run me into the door on accident run me into this side view mirror on accident run me into this wall run my knees into these posts guys when i tell you i go through it all it, it's like and then it's all oh i'm so sorry oh i feel so bad oh this oh that it's it's just like no how about we try it my way? How about, how about that? Hold on. You know what, guys? I'm doing a no-no. I'm using this little thin comb. Okay. But I kind of like it because sometimes I feel like you really do need to comb through your hair and like really get in there in your scalp and sometimes the wide tooth comb is not gonna do it it's just not did you guys i didn't spray any vantage spray i'm so glad i started over because i didn't even spray any fantasia spray on this side so yeah let me finish let me see okay i like that i have to get some larger pillowcases some pillows that i got from tj maxx a few weeks ago my pillowcases that came with my um comforter set they're too small so okay i like this this feels good because i do have some new growth in the back let me see there it is okay let's so let's definitely practice the art of not touching and let's practice the art of asking and let's build our vocabulary and let's learn our words and being descriptive like we know we should know basic things like left, right, on um, 45 degrees, 30 degrees. We can use the clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, two o'clock, all that. Um, we should be able to say up, down, vertical, horizontal, um, horizontal, horizon, left to right, if you're not sure. 
vertical up and down on um, diagonal right point to point um you know beeline you should be able to continue straight you know 10 feet 15 feet five steps paces like some you need to be able to articulate guide and direct and a lot of us have to work on vocabulary because we don't have that we don't have vocabulary and it's because of these smart devices like you know it auto corrects it pretty much you can talk text so it'll type for you you really don't have to know how to spell but in times like these it shows you know it really does even with my be my eyes volunteers okay even with my Be My Eyes volunteers, even they cannot get it together. Like I have to teach them words because even from an app, I get, you know, in danger. Like I've had, I've asked for people like, hey, I'm looking for this. Let me show you the whole area. How close am I to this or that? And the next thing I know, boom, I just hit my head on the counter or something. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. And it's like, um, okay. So let's just really work on do not touch, especially if you know you don't want anybody to grab you like that. Now, if it's an emergency, I'm about to walk out in traffic, all that type of stuff, that's a different ball game. Then you just do what you do. Grab me, snatch me, and all that. That's a universal rule, right? But if we're just trying to walk, you know, in the building, get in the car, all that type of normal everyday thing, walk in an establishment, then we're not. Oh, I still didn't do it, guys. Let me spray this. We're not going to um, be touching without getting permission and without understanding the rules of engagement. Okay? And that starts with what? Comment down below. That starts with what, guys? Asking. Introducing yourself. Hi, I would like to help you. Do you need my assistance? How can I help you? Would you like me to guide by a lot? Would you like an elbow? Would an elbow help? Would you like me to just guide you through here? I mean, we're good at communicating. We'll be like, yes or no. Or yeah, the best way for me, let me just grab your elbow here on the right side. Yep, and let's go. Let's do it. Rather than you grabbing, grabbing, grabbing. Guys, and we have got to get to the place where we are cleaning our up behind ourselves. I mean, I'm telling y'all, some of these people's hands, I'm like, wow. It's hard like sandpaper. And these will be women. The majority of the worst experiences have been with women. Cold, ice cold, clammy hands. I'm talking about clammy. Like their hands don't even feel like hands. They feel rubbery, like cold, wet, rubber. Like what is going on with you? You need some vitamins. You Do you eat food? Or are you just doing like medicine? Like what is going on with you? Your iron is 
out of there. Like, let's get you some. Let's go ahead and then get you some of that Farragon. Let's get you some iron immediately. Let's go ahead on and have that steak today. This is crazy. I'm like, why are your hands hard like paper like this and you don't mind? Like, or sometimes they don't even know. That's the part that gets really alarming is when you're like, wow, your hands are like ice cubes. They're like, really? I don't feel cold. You don't feel cold? Mmm. Okay. Yeah, you're freezing cold. So you just have to... So guys, helping is not touching. Helping is describing, using your words, asking, using descriptive words, asking, introducing yourself first, asking, how may I help you? Finding out what are the boundaries, what's the comfort level. And another thing, not being intrusive. I mean, I get the most craziest. It's like one extreme or the other. Either, you know, just grabbing me and coming on and then they'll just start asking me anything. Dang, so can you see anything? I mean, you're not totally gone, are you? Oh, do you live by yourself? Who do you live with? How long have you been? How old are you? Do you so, like, can you see my hand? Can you see me pointing my finger? Um, so, do you work? How do you, um, do you, do you have money? Oh, you get, do you get social security? I'm just asking. I'm just curious. I just, I don't know. I have no idea. And, and I'm just sitting there like, oh, yeah? Like, what an idiot. You don't ask people how much money do they make. Like, hello, who are you, first of all? Who are you? Like, are you my Lyft driver? Who are you? Because I could have sworn all we're doing is going from a five-minute ride is turning into torture now. You want to touch me? You want to ask me 5,000 questions? And it's not just the driver community. It's not just them. It's everywhere. You know, people will just get to ask me. The security guards at school. You'd be getting a ride in the go-kart. Oh, I really want to. I've been meaning to ask you. Oh, I was just really curious. Um, Like, so how do you do that? How do you? I'm like, oh, my God. It's like, um, no ma'am, no sir. We're not going to do that tonight. We're not going to do it. If you don't want me asking you how much money you make and how do you do what you do, which is be a complete jack butt, um, like, let's get real here. Let's stay focused on why we met we met because you're working your service provider remember you're in the capacity of working right now i'm a patron <laughs> i'm a patron <laughs> it's it's just wild out here like people don't have common sense they don't have home training they don't they don't care like the internet has built a world where it's oh people can just say anything do anything like it is crazy people will just be no i mean there's no limit to it oh how did this how does that how does so where are you gonna go after this who's gonna do that who's how do you i mean they get down with it to the nitty gritty Please don't be like that. If you want to help. And then some some of these ideas of helping are truly inappropriate. It's like, if you're my husband, then sure, I will hold my man 
like we're going to prom and be all up under him like that. And that is a very safe position when you are securely engaged like that. Also, I mean, your significant other understands your limitations and the way you perceive mobility. They have had a lot of time to move around with you. And they're going to be more protective in most cases than anyone else, even your, even the way you handle yourself. So that that's not going to necessarily be the move I'm making with the local Lyft driver. So it's like, hey, slow down. They'll be pulling my arm up under them. Like, hey. Like, uh-uh, I need, I need some distance in there. Like, let me grab your, oh no, just grab me tight, grab me tight. Like, really? No, all I need is your elbow. That's it. That's all I need. What do you need? <laughs> you guys, it's been a heat advisory every day. Every day. I'm praying for everybody to stay cool, calm, and collective because collected because this heat will make you get into arguments. It really will because it's like, whoa, it's too hot. Everything is too hot. You don't even want to sit in the same room with anybody because they're raising the temperature. Like, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Too hot, too hot, too. Get back, get back. You definitely, this is the too hot weather. Nobody can sleep in the bed together right now. It's like, babe, go to your room. <laughs> Everybody, husbands, wives. It's like, uh uh uh. No, go to your room. That's why you have your room over there where your clothes are, because there's no more room in this closet where you put your extra shoes. Yes, go to your room. If you want to stay together, if you want to make it to see the morning together. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, now I kind of feel like I should have just went on and did this side in a couple, like two, but I'm not taking that one down. I'm finished. I'm really and truly finished. So, I'm working on getting my affiliate links for the products that I use and building my stores um, so that you guys could just go straight to the products and just order them if you want to order them or you can at least look at what I'm using instead of having to search for it. Um, I really like braiding my hair at night though because I get so much new growth in a day and it allows me to like comb it out, comb the new growth and just really get into my scalp good because I have new growth right here. Like anytime you see me like touching in different areas of my head while I'm braiding, it's because I have new growth. Like all of this is new growth. I remember when I used to, because I never do like a slick ponytail. I never spend all day doing a ponytail. And people would think I had fake hair because they would see the little crinkles. And they would say like, see, they're going to bundle right there. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Sometimes I still hear people say that. Like, they'll talk about you in your face and like you're deaf. And you're just like, okay. And I don't even waste any time with it. But... They'll be like, see, there goes the bundle right there. And I'll just be laughing so hard because it's like, okay, you you made sure, you know, that you don't ask me. <laughs> you don't include me. I remember one time my friend was braiding my hair for me. And everybody was looking like, oh my God, this girl got so much hair. And another girl was having a sidebar conversation like sitting like literally to the left of me like not even that far like boom here 
And she was like, oh no, that's bundles. That's that California Silky. I will never forget. Like she named it and everything. And when I tell you my hair was all natural, there was no straightening. It was just all natural and was down. And my friend was helping me braid my hair up. I actually was playing basketball. I was getting ready for a game with my high school and she was having braid my hair because I had tried to style it like in some type of ponytail bun and it was just so unruly. It was like, no, this is not working. Just help me corn roll it up real quick and we're good. And this girl was having a sidebar conversation about how that was not my hair and that it's actually bundles and it's called a California Silky. Okay, guys? So I got that California Silky, okay? <laughs> I wonder, I wish if, you know what? I'm gonna look it up. I really am. I hope I go to a beauty, I never go to the beauty supply, by the way. But the one time off chance that I go, maybe I'll go out my way to go to a beauty supply here and see if they sell a hair brand or hair style number called California Silky. And I'm gonna show it to y'all. I'm definitely going to show it to y'all. Okay, this is what I want to do now. Let me show you guys these um, rollers that I just got. I was looking for old school rollers. And I ordered, like I said, I ordered that one thing I showed y'all at the beginning. So rewind it back if you need to. Hold on. And... See, every time I think I'm ready and then I'm not ready. Okay. Here we go, guys. I hate one. Okay, here we go. Here's the new rollers I just got. Guys, mind you, it's so hot here that I actually have a fan on on top of air conditioning. Okay? And that fan feels so good. It's it actually, you'll be surprised. You really don't need a large fan. You really can get those floor size fans they're like this large like a little bit larger than this like double the size of this and it is so powerful and it'll make your whole like it'll just because like what happens is i put it like in front of my side of the bed and it'll just like be blowing in the sheet because i don't even keep a comforter on the bed no way i just have a flat sheet i'm thinking about putting a little blanket because sometimes like it starts getting ice cold at different points and you then that's when you want that little blanket for like 10 minutes. I promise you the length of time that it gets cold here in South Florida is all of 29 minutes. In the middle of the night, you get that nice finally, I might be exaggerating, maybe an hour or two, it finally gets real cool and cold. You can feel that air conditioning doing its thing and then it warms right up don't get it i'm trying to get i'm trying not to go get my scissors um to unlock this to show you guys but anyway these are the rollers that i'm about to be trying and if i can sneak one out just to show y'all these rollers are the only rollers they had at target they don't have the old school ones that I'm sure I have somewhere over the rainbow. They don't have the old school ones where you used to put, it was a smooth plastic roller, not the foam rollers. They still do have the foam rollers, but I don't like those I never have. To me, they like dry your hair out. I had this one cousin, she's so super cute. She used to have the little tissue papers and at nighttime she would, all, she always had a press and curl. Her hair was cute and she will roll the tissue paper over the roller and then roll her hair with it and snap it and put her little bonnet on and go to sleep and that was cute. Now they have these, which these are not a sponge. It's like, mm, I'm gonna say Velcro. This is similar to Velcro, but it's supposed to be like brush-like. And then um, comment down below, tell me what color this is. But let me show y'all. Okay, it's supposed to be like brush-like, so when you roll your hair around it, it stays on there. Look, it's staying on. 
and all I have to do is just stop rolling it. Boom. And it stays. So, I don't know how I feel about this being as though, because like when you unravel it, see right now I rolled it a little too tight. Look, I'm going to show y'all. I rolled it a little too tight because it's like up there. But anyway, we're not going to worry about it. It's working though. It's really working. So, let's try to snatch out a couple more to do the other braids and then I'm done because we're trying it out. We're just going to see how this goes. Um, this pack of um, rollers costs $10 basically. It was $9 and some change. Um, but they have it right now at Target where if you spend $30 on hair care, then you get a $5, um, you get a $5 gift card. And on top of that, you get that buy three, get one free. So here's another one of these rollers. I kind of feel like I would roll more than one on each roller but I'm not I'm just gonna put it just like that I can't believe these are really working I am pleasantly surprised and shocked the only concern that I have right now is when I take them down in the morning that's the only concern I have right now when I take them down is it gonna be nice and smooth and easy or is that where the drama is going to come in? Okay, look. Don't judge me, guys. Don't judge me. Okay, here it is. I got to the other side to try to get one last roller out of here. Because the rest of the rollers are huge. Huge. I'm curious. If this works out, I'm thinking about... um, Because I'm going to use some mousse. I'm thinking about using my cream tomorrow and actually rolling mine instead of doing braids tomorrow maybe I'll do another get ready with me with you guys and I'll actually be rolling my entire head something I haven't done in years and see what style we come up with but for that I will be definitely using everything I used tonight which was just PM spray and blue magic but i'll be using cream but i'm not sure which cream like i think i'm going to use i think it's called not your mother's top cream styling cream or something i don't know i have some cream of nature products and i think i have an aunt jackie's product over here um i am one that will put castor oil and black seed oil and olive oil in my hair too so we're just gonna see what happens. If I ever came across a true black seed oil gel and like curling cream, that's like, oh dang guys, I just broke a strand of hair. That's something that I absolutely hate. Comment down below if you hate that. Like, you have to watch your fingernails. I have to file my fingernails all the time because for some reason. It will always and just break a strand of hair and then it breaks it really low I, I'm so thankful my hair grows really fast because otherwise I'll be like really stressed out but anyway guys let me go to bed you guys good night this is what we're doing should I put the bonnet on for y'all to really know like what is she doing what is she looking like <laughs> Good night, guys. Hugs and kisses. Happy Friday. Enjoy yourself. Take time for yourself. And when will we see each other again? When will I see you again? Come on, baby face. When will you get over it again? <laughs> I hear what you're saying, but I swear that it's not making sense. When will I see you? When will I see you again? <laughs> Bye, guys.